My husband and I uh, farm, and I know Sukup has, plays a large role within the ag industry, and so it really enticed me um, being from North Iowa and relocating back here after college. Um, I grew up on a farm, my parents farm as well, and so um, those are my roots and what I know. It's hard to believe what started it all was, was a little logger on a drill, you know? Um, it's pretty surreal just looking around and trying to, you know, acknowledge the fact that that's, that's all it took to get this large ball rolling. It suck up everybody kind of wears. I uh, had a multitude of things. I oversee the production aspect of things, the satellite locations um, on the production side with uh, their managers, and then uh, I oversee plant personnel as well with HR. Uh, sitting, in, sitting in my interview and I said, you know, Steve, I'm gonna run this place, and then he just gave me the old Steve laugh, and I guess you know, I told him uh, maybe I was right. So, kind of weird how things happen. I think a lot of people would be really surprised at our capabilities in-house. Um, you hear comments like that all the time from, from outsiders that come in for a plant tour that just really have no idea what, what we're capable of here. We're looking at a very strong year this year, especially in the commercial market. Um, we're seeing a lot of interest in uh, paddle sweeps, uh, dryers, uh, material handling has been great this year, so we're looking for a busy year. Basically, Tool and I has a hand in everything. Anything that is produced out of Sukup is coming from either a, a die or a weld fixture, or it's coming from lasers and it has to be bent in uh, manual dies. All of that is produced, designed, and engineered in-house. When it first comes to learning how to new, do a new item, I love just kind of getting in there I'm like, okay, here's this part. How is this going to go together? I love seeing how the different items come together to create the new product. I've been here for seven and a half years. Uh, I enjoy the freedom of uh, being in control of a project from start to finish. It's very rewarding to see uh, a project that started just on a piece of paper uh, come to life. I think the big thing that helps us strive to be successful is that we don't have a lot of roadblocks in front of us. The nice thing about you know working here is you have Steve and stuff making decisions along with engineering, pushing new things. Um, there's not a whole lot of roadblocks that you have to encompass when you're trying to uh, you know, and incorporate new things. You're trying to figure out what the next big thing in the market is going to be. Tying all of those products together, uh, creating new and, and, and better ways for our customers to, to not only get the job done, but to be able to give them back more of that quality time uh, that, they, that they have craved but haven't been able to do that in the, in the kind of heavy uh, drying and, and, and farming uh, uh, portions of the year and that's one of my favorite things is to be able to equip people with those products that will just give them time to do the things they really want to be doing you know as opposed to the things they need to be doing. To keep that legacy of Steve, Eugene and Charles of being hands-on with our employees. So I'm sort of looking into the future to see hey what can we do to maintain where we're at and to grow in the future. I don't think it's even possible to determine what you would see in the next 60 years because it has changed so much in 15 that I can't even imagine where we would be. I, I've said that over and over again. Um, I, don't, I don't think there's too many companies out there that, that you can interact with the CEO and, and three generations of the family-owned company on, you know, on the daily. And genuine conversation. Um, I don't think you're gonna find that anywhere else. 60 years is exciting. It's something to be very, very proud of. And um, you can see it on, on everybody's face. We continue to grow. Each year um, is more successful. You see more products that engineers are creating, we're developing, we're designing, and we're manufacturing. So for, for all of us to see kind of um, the growth, uh, the start to finish product. Anybody can bend steel. Anybody can, uh, to an extent, put them all together to be able to deliver a great result. You know, from us, we, we really care about this from a holistic standpoint. You know, not only, not only do, do we touch it from a raw material standpoint, we're, uh, we're employing, you know, 850 people here. We, 
We're running it through all of our own machines. We care about the product that we have here. We care about the people that are using it. It's, it's more than just a number to us. It's more than just a, uh, a, a finished goods inventory calculation. You know, we are in the business of providing the very products that keep you know, the lifeblood uh, of our economy going. And we take that very seriously. And we care about the quality, we care about the people, and we care about the people that are buying it.